Well, it's time to, for us to shed the spotlight on a very, very important issue this morning. A public service announcement is a short but powerful message that effectively calls attention to a social problem. This morning, we're taking a look at a snippet from a South African PSA called Open Your Eyes. Watch it. Confront it. Open your eyes. Do something. Ooh, eerie stuff there. Now, this PSA has been announced as being placed second overall in CNN's Heard PSA's competition. And joining us in studio to chat about this honor and how the short film came together are the writer, director, producer, and actress Roxanne Hayward and Muay Thai world champion and uh, for the film's producer, Quentin Chung in studio. Good morning. How are you guys? Hello. Good. Good. That 16 seconds of what we saw just literally <laughs> gave me goosebumps. I can't even imagine what the entire, uh, you know, PSA actually looks and feels like. But Roxanne, my very first question to you, incredible work. Thank How you. did <laughs> everyone involved come together to put this project in place? Well, um, thanks to Quentin. <laughs> we were all brought together um, and a great team was formed. So basically, Heard PSA is an initiative um, put together that uh, the GSN, which is the Global Sustainability Network, which are all the religious leaders around the world, mm -hmm. um, they kind of put it together along with Tony Sheena, who's also very actively involved in taking down human trafficking and drug syndicates, um, sex trafficking syndicates. Um, so they've created this platform called Herd PSA, yeah. um, which was open to all filmmakers around the world, actually. Yeah. And then they um, contacted Quentin directly to ask him to get involved wow. with regards to the work that he's been doing in South Africa behind the scenes um, and helping infiltrate those drug syndicates, human trafficking syndicates, um, and also his development prog programs that he's got. Um, and then he got the few of us together, so he asked myself to get involved um, with some of the film work that I've been doing. Um, I'm used to being in front of the camera as an actress since I was a young girl, yeah. at the age of 10. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then he also got um, Sadiq Bahadine involved. Mm -hmm. um, that's the one yes. on the right. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's also involved uh, as a cinematographer in the yeah. film industry. And Farana Parker. Um, who also has a lot of social development programs within South Africa, works with the UN. Um, and then we drew on the people that we know um, within South Africa, celebrities, um, personalities, um, who've all been affected by human trafficking and modern slavery, actually in a very wow. direct way. Um, and we put together a project that we were all very passionate about mm -hmm. and uh, wanting to make a difference. Now the thing about human trafficking is it's not something that is front and centre visible or happening right in front of you. It's usually things that it's always in some way happening to other people, but it's a scourge. It's happening every single day. Quentin, what are some of the challenges in depicting human trafficking in South Africa particularly? Well, the challenges is it's very difficult. Yeah. Because you look at what's happening here, unemployment. Yeah. The high, uh, the high rate of crime and of course unemployment makes people desperate and everybody wants things and unfortunately you know when you're in that sort of underworld not many people talk about it they'll advertise it but when you get close to them then it's you know I'll see you tomorrow I'll see you tomorrow but like I said you know for me we pushed it and I want to get the footage and it's it's in our doorsteps we have to wake up this is the reality yeah now, you were personally, like Roxanne said, selected to be a part of this film and uh, you, because of, of the recognition with regards to all of the work that you are doing, uh, charitable work as well as modern day slavery. Uh, I commend you for that, by the way. Thank Those you are the kind much. of jobs that no one really wants to get involved in. <laughs> How do you intend to continue to use this platform to highlight this in South Africa? Well, maybe, you know, we sh like I said, it's for people to work together in this country, it's all nice and said, but very people do what they say. Yeah. I think what we did now, we proved it. We did this in four days mm. against the top film guys. Wow. And I, like you said, it's powerful and it's real. I think we should get all the advertising companies together and let them all put a challenge together and to get it out there. And then of course, push different type of teams together, task force, but unfortunately without funding, it's a very difficult part into the type of reality we're gonna go and try and open up. Yeah. So how does one help you? How do our audience help you? 
Well, you know, maybe get hold of us mm -hmm. through you guys, through Espeso, um, okay. try and get the funding and put teams together. And this is for everyone. Yeah. No yeah. politics. And it's, it's close at home. I mean, you're going to start selling people. Yeah. I mean, is this where our life is going at? <sighs> but you I, know what? Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say, I think the main thing and that w the main purpose of creating this PSA is just creating mm -hmm. awareness. Absolutely. Because it's something that happened to all of us and it can happen yeah. to each and every one of us. I've been in a situation myself where it nearly happened to me. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if we're aware of what's going on around us, we can prevent Absolutely. it from happening to more people and people close to us. Um, and then, yeah, also just being aware of different industries that support human trafficking and modern day slavery and taking a stand against it mm -hmm. and making sure that you don't support those industries, those companies. Um, and we can all make a bit of a difference. 100%. <laughs> Thank you so much, Roxanne. Thank you so much, Quentin, for being much. here and for all of the incredible work that you're doing. And if you'd like to view the full public service announcement that was placed second internationally, you can find the clip on YouTube by searching Open Your Eyes, Heard PSA.